also. Right, we have continuity of the equipotential bonding conductor to the gas. We've installed fake electricity for everything. We haven't cut the supply yet. We've mapped four circuits worth of 16 sockets. We've now switched all the light switches on in the whole house. Is that right? We've okay, done that. we've got nine yes. circuits here. Yeah. About four light circuits, about five, four or five um, socket circuits and a smoke. The cooker is tied into some other sockets in the kitchen. We're going to do a global insulation resistance test. We've mapped, we've mapped the downstairs sockets. There are three downstairs socket circuits and they're dotted all over the place. Now what I'm going to do is just going to take, remove the oven so that we can see behind the oven. All the oven feeds. Continuity. First off, continuity main bonding. Spice looked at the gas bonding and turned all the lights on, took all the plugs out, the sockets, who's but then thought, hang on, let's do a global IR. So the global IR for each half of the board, that came up trumped. Did my little R1 and R2s on the cross uh, figure of eights on that, from the plug socket in there. Oh. I'm jumping ahead of myself because it's higgledy piggledy. There's about two circuits feeding each room for the sockets. And I carried out my R1, R2s on all the circuits, except for circuit number three that is unused. Um, I had a couple of little fault finding missions. One is uh, we've got a very high uh, CPC reading on the ring, which is giving us. 2.4 ohms on the ring, R1, R2. And I went into the live tests for the ZE, the PFC, and the two RCDs. Um, then I yeah, tried to do a bit of fault finding, and here I am, finishing up on Christmas 2022.